Okay, so uh, again, so we identify the biceps femoris muscle as our main soft tissue landmark. We're going to place the transducer um, with the marker on the cranial side of that muscle so that the left side of the ultrasound monitor is cranial and the right side of the ultrasound monitor is caudal. So the first landmark that is easy to identify is this large round structure, and that's going to be the femur. As we move the transducer caudally, you can see this is the biceps femoris muscle. So it's kind of a rounded triangular shape facing down. And at the deepest part of that biceps femoris is this round structure uh, that almost looks like a pair of eyeglasses. It's got two little round circles, or almost like a figure eight, um, that are kind of hyper, or pardon me, hypo or anechoic structures, and that's the sciatic nerve. So that's the target that we're looking for. You can see that the more caudal structure is a little bit larger than the cranial piece of the sciatic nerve, and that's the tibial component is the one caudally, and the peroneal component is the one more cranial. So that's the structure we're looking for, and as we move up and down the leg a little bit, you can see that that is a continuous structure that we can identify at that deepest point. So here is the skin surface where the transducer is being applied to the patient. At the deepest part underneath the biceps femoris is going to be where we look for that very obvious structure that's the sciatic nerve. Deep to that structure, these are the adductors, AD ductor muscles. And as we move caudally, we get up into an area where the semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles are going to be located. But this is going to be the target here is this really obvious little structure with the two circle components. So as we place our needle from a caudal direction, you can see my finger just gently pushing on the surface of the dog here. So the needle is going to be entering from the right side of the screen. And we're going to be looking here on the depth markers on the right-hand side. You can see that the very bottom of the ultrasound monitor is 4.9 centimeters. So if we find the sciatic nerve in the middle of our, our image and we look at where that corresponding depth would be, we're looking at approximately one, two, maybe two, two and a half centimeters from the skin surface. So when we place our needle from a caudal direction, we're going to be coming in caudally and you're going to see that needle enter from the right side of the screen. We're going to be placing that needle in plane underneath the ultrasound beam, and we're going to see that needle as it comes across from the, uh, the right side of the screen until we get it located right adjacent to that sciatic nerve.